Hey friends, I'm back. Um, this is the next video for making your own quarantine masks. Uh, these are N95 reusable washable covers. And uh, what I have here is our um, basic mask uh, pattern that we did yesterday up here. Still haven't sewn it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. These are the two pieces of scrap um, that we set over to the side because we don't throw anything away. We always use it. So, uh, the, uh, these are what I use for my side casings that go here. And this is what I'm using for my long straps that go here and tie around the head. Um, so if you remember our fabric squares from Walmart are measured at 18 inches, oops, sorry, there we go, uh, 18 inches by 21 inches. Now, the face covering uh, took up a good portion of that, um, so we're going to Frankenstein our remaining pieces together just a little bit. Now, uh, this is a different strap that uh, has already been made and prepared. So uh, this is gonna be right about our length. Uh, our length is going to be at least 40 inches. And then our width is gonna be two inches. So when I open that up, that is two inches. And then when I do my fold over with my heat press iron, a half inch on each side, and that makes this right about an inch, right? Um, there is our measuring, so right about an inch, and then when you open it up, it's two inches, okay? Um, so the way that we are going to get our 40 inch head tie out of this, so we're gonna put two of these together. So because we are doing a leopard print scarf, I lied. We're not doing leopard print on the outside. The uh, leopard print is the inside and the uh, black and gray modeled is our outside. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to use our leopard print for the ties because I think that is pretty. So we will put these guys over to the side. Again, don't throw anything away. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, do a serge stitch right here on the middle of our strap pattern. And then we'll go back in, we'll fold over the sides like this. And then you're gonna take an iron and heat press. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. Hopefully you all know how to iron um, if you don't it's a good time to learn. Uh, you can also take a um, a hot kettle on the stove or a, a water um, heating element of some sort and you can steam that in. Um, you can take the kettle, get it to boiling, and then press it like that on top. You just want to make sure you get that nice fold over for our strap um, and we're going to use that for later. All right, uh, this is the end of the second video and I will upload it and then get the third video, which is all of our sewing and putting it all together. Cool, thanks guys.